way these two teams are on the rise, RJ, some fantastic young talent on display on both sides. Oh, the future is bright, and these guys are the future. But don't look over the present, because they are all already so exciting to watch. It's going to be a lot of fun courtside. So the New York starting five. McCollum is out there with Thompson. Then there's Yusuf Nurkic. Then it's Robinson, and it's Gobert in at the four-man position. Just five on the clock. The shot by Thompson, no good. Thompson against Mitchell. Passes to Gordon. Back to Mitchell. Good for the basket. Starting off one for one with that shot. One of the more powerful young guards in our game. Mitchell loves to attack the heart of the defense. Norkic in the post. He's covered by Ingram. And Gobert kicks to McCullough. Gobert with a screen on Rubio. Here's McCollum. Finds the bottom of the bucket from 13 feet out. Yeah, phenomenal at realizing when to shoot from that mid-range. And McCollum becoming a master at that mid-range. Rubio the pass to Mitchell. Okongwu with the screen for Mitchell. Out to Ingram. Launches a three. And the rebound goes to the Knicks. Defeated by the Hornets in their last game. They'll try to put that one behind them. I tell you, they were drawing a lot of iron from the perimeter. Couldn't get the threes to go down. And really, the story of the game. They were bricking. They were missing. They were airballing. They were doing everything. Brutal night shooting for them when they couldn't even hit the broad side of a bar. They couldn't hit the ocean if they fell out of a boat. Good on the second free throw. And I think back to when Sacramento Kings hired Mike Brown as their head coach. There was almost universal praise for that move. McCollum against Rubio. On the wing, Mitchell. Off the mark there with the three-point shot. And so it's McCollum with it. He brings it up for New York. It's tipped and stolen by Okongwu. Mitchell passes to Rubio. Here's the pass to Ingram. Sacramento again missing. And Richard, when it comes to Mike Brown, it's easy to understand why he was such a popular hire. Yeah, you're talking about a guy with a ton of NBA experience, and he has taken the team to the finals. He had the confidence of the Kings players from day one. And he left a world championship team, so he brings that pedigree, RJ, with him to Sacramento. Yes, sir. Mitchell against Thompson. Mitchell passes to Gordon. And foul on the shot, so he'll get a chance at the line. First personal foul. And there's no question that Gordon is a talented player, and it's clear he wants to be a star in this league. The Kings shooting their first free throws of the game. Free throw good from Gordon. And after spending his first seven years in Orlando, Aaron Gordon traded in 2021, going from the Magic, a team out of the playoffs, to a team chasing a title. Gordon hits both of them. And with Aaron Gordon leaving Orlando, Greg, how'd you think that deal worked out for him? Kevin, I think the change of scenery was great for Gordon. Taking on more of a complimentary role and getting more big game experience. It's Ingram on the wing. He is guarded by McCollum. Rubio misses. Just haven't found their offensive footing yet. Only managing to sink one of their first five shots. Nurkic the best to go bare. Over Ingram. And it's Sacramento with the rebound. They defeated the Pelicans in their last game. And, guys, they, they walked into the arena with a certain kind of swagger. And we really saw it play out on the offensive end. And they backed it up with their play, got production from everyone, and they were able to walk the walk on the offensive end. Okungu's shot is good. 
Boy, it's a joy to watch Ingram as he's developed. One of the hardest working players in the game. To the paint. Out to Thompson. A three. Hits the three-point bomb. And that's exactly what he's looking for, draining the triple. For Sacramento, they've gone two of six from the field. Pass to Okongwu. And here in the first quarter, with a little over three and a half minutes played. Not sure what, what the D was doing there. Clearly a breakdown. You can ill afford to give a guy like him that good a look. Rubio against McCollum. Here's Robinson, and it's Robinson with the jam. And the one-hand slam just looks so pretty when it's in his hand, and he's the one doing the slam. Agreed. He is smooth as silk, even on a power finish. Now, here's Okongwu. And looking at his production, he averages a little more than seven points a game. And really just a great play to sacrifice his body and take the charge. The Knicks with the lead. McCollum kicks to Gobert. A shot by Thompson and no one's around. Misses the three. Where you'll see him miss such an open look. Ingram dishes to Mitchell. the three and Okongwu slams it in a signature slam from the big fella we've seen a few of those before here's Thompson he had an 18 point outing in the last game against Charlotte there's the dish to McCollum it's over Rubio that one wide left Sacramento's gone 0-3 from three-point land. Nothing yet going outside. Ingram passes to Okongwu. And Okongwu slams it in. And we've seen several lead changes tonight. Neither team giving an inch. I've been on the edge of my seat courtside. Man, this has been a barn burner. Now here's McCollum. He had a 36-point outing in the last game against Charlotte. And a lot of those points came at the free throw line. Really because of his aggression. He, he was playing the game with force, always catching his man on his heels. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. Real good, McCollum. Well, Greg, we're in the final stages of the regular season. For teams that are on the outside looking in, what are these final games like? You have to continue to play hard because GMs are watching these games, seeing who packs it in and who continues to grind. So your future is at stake. And so McCollum nails both of them. And when you think of McCollum, the word efficient comes to mind. This guy just shoots the ball and plays the game at a high level. Now, here's Mitchell against New Orleans, who is really on his game. Williams finds Gordon. Over Gobert. And it's Gordon missing. New York's gone one or two from long range in the first quarter. Gobert, the pass to Robinson. Pass to Thompson. The tray. It's good. It's his second basket. He's shooting two for four. I just love how fast Thompson gets his shot up. It makes him so much more lethal. Mitchell in the corner. Let's it go with the three. Traps in the tray. Mitchell's got five. The real come at us, and we're coming right back at you. Yeah, I love the competitive fire right there. You drain a triple on us, and I'm coming for my revenge. Now, here's Thompson. Mitchell Robinson unable to get his last shot to go in. And he is really in a zone right now, playing and scoring with confidence. And here's Rubio. He is still scoreless so far in this one. Tries the spin move down low. 
Here's Williams. Robinson with the block. And that's out of bounds. Sacramento will retain possession. And we have to take another glance at that powerful rejection. And guys, that is lockdown defense at its finest. Going right at the shot and then able to knock it away. Both teams will make substitutions. Four on the clock for three. Mitchell Thompson with the rebound. And I think that one could have easily have fallen for him. On the wing, Hardaway. That's in, coming off the assist from Thompson. And it's a six-point New York lead. And they're getting their points now almost exclusively from the triple. Four of their last five makes are from beyond the arc. Now, here's why. He definitely had a good game in their win against the Pelicans. Brown with a screen on Hardaway. For three, Mitchell. Knicks with the rebound. They've been beating them to a lot of those loose balls and rebounds here to start. Outside Curry. Shoots the three. And again, New York with the triple. And creating a little separation here gaining some confidence yeah they've locked in during this stretch if they keep it up their lead will only continue to grow to end the run and it goes out of bounds that one off robinson lens checked in for robinson For three, Mitchell. Wow, drew the contact, and that three almost went in. So he'll go to the line for three free throws. Tim Hardaway picks one up. Craig, an outstanding score. Donovan Mitchell takes it to another level in the playoffs, doesn't he? And, Kevin, how about all of his averages go up come playoff time? Spider is a guy who wants the limelight and, like other stars, takes on more of a load in the postseason. Free throw drops for Mitchell. And the second free throw, good. nails the third and at the line it's all about consistency with him his routine his stroke it never wavers outside curry passes it to thompson takes it from 10 sacramento grabs the miss victory eluded them last time in new york when they took on the knicks well if they want to avoid the outcome of that first meeting they'll need to be stronger on the glass they were completely outmatched in the last one and a lot of that begins with effort putting in the work and closing out possession should make this a much more contested game and some stats here guys the scoring breakdown for new york Free throw dropped for Mitchell. And New York making a change here. McCollum's checked in. So he hits one of two from the strike. Here's Banton, guarded by Kirk. Stolen by Len. Curry against Brown. 
Curry looking it over. Inside, here's Thompson. Benton with the rebound. No one to blame on that one but himself. You get looks like that, you've got to take it back. And the pass to Mitchell. Williams up on top. Five to shoot to the middle. The shot by Mitchell, no good. I'd like to see him a bit more efficient. He has not been great this quarter. Glenn kick kicks to Curry. New York moving it around. Glenn passes to McCollum. Glenn down low, working on Williams. Outside for Curry. Thompson for three. Good, and Curry gets the assist. Thompson's got 12 points in the game. The ball movement on this run has been fantastic and is a big part of why they've been able to get these good looks. Brown outside. And the three ball is good. The real come at us, and we're coming right back at you. Yeah, I love the competitive fire right there. You drain a triple on us, and I'm coming for my revenge. Now, here's Curry. McCollum dishes to Curry. Back to McCollum, and McCollum with the slam. And slamming that one home. McCollum, 6'3", smaller for an off guard, but you see there, CJ can absolutely fly. Here's Mitchell. He's got nine. Pass to Brown. From deep three-point range, rebounded by McCollum. Not quite enough defense that time around. Just lucky he was off. The defense just giving him the easy look there. He's not going to miss that. Now, oh, here's Brown. There's 126 left to play in the first quarter. Missed inside. That is some tough defense there against one of the better finishers in our game. Here's McCollum. He has seven. Glenn with a screen on Mitchell. Glenn kicks to McGee. Cullen passes to Curry. McGee dishes to McCollum. A chance to extend the lead to double digits, but it's no good. A screen on Curry. Pass to Wiles. There's the three. And it's Clay Thompson with the rebound. And they had some botched coverage that turned into no coverage. McCollum finds McGee. Land against Williams. Thompson for the triple. He's now made half of those 10 shots in the game. That's his fifth basket. Wow, unconscious has he been this quarter. They're riding that hot hand. Passes it to Williams. Shot and game clock separated by five. This is to Mitchell. And then Mitchell hit the dunk. What an incredible elevator. Don't tell Mitchell he's six feet. Donovan plays way bigger. McCollum against Mitchell. Hey, yo, right here. For three. That shot, no good. And that does it for the first quarter. Next out front, they lead by eight. After this break, we'll be back with the start of the second quarter on 2K Sports. So far, halfway through the first half in this one. And what stands out to you from New York in this one? Coming in hot. They were sharp from the perimeter right out of the gate. And as long as the threes are dropping, you've got to keep launching them. The Kings trail by eight. So with Thompson sitting on the bench, here's the five for Tom Thibodeau right now. Gobert is out there with Nurkic. Then there's Len. Then there's Seth Curry. And it's Hardaway in at the two-guard spot. Outside Curry. He kicks to Nurkic. Pocket six. Hardaway from outside. It's hauled in by Gordon. The King shooting 33% for the night. That's a big thorn in their side right now. Here's 
Here's Ingram. It's rebounded by New York. That'll be the second on the road in the midst of this long four-game road stand. Now the pass to Curry. From outside, off the mark. Right now, let's send it over to the sidelines and get a report from David Aldridge. Thanks very much, guys. Growing up, Mitchell Robinson didn't play basketball. But a seven-inch growth spurt in the eighth grade changed things. He fell to the 36th pick overall in 2018, but his physical tools have made him a presence. One key to his success, he says, just run the floor. If you're the first man down the court, you can get the ball. Kevin, that sounds pretty simple to me. It does to me, too. Keep it simple and use that athleticism. David, thanks. Greg, you have to love the impact that Tim Hardaway Jr. has had on the defensive end. He's got a great wingspan to bother shooters and contain penetration. Always aware of where the ball is on the floor. You could call him an underrated defender. Shoot two. That free throw good from Hardaway. You know, great. We know to win at the highest level, you need your star players to show up in the big games. With that in mind, what's the key? You know, it, it's their will and their ability to fight. If you look at the great ones, even when things haven't gone their way, they, they continue to scratch and claw and do everything in their power to try and get the W. The offensive rebound, freedom. Second shot opportunity, and he could not get that one to go. Out of contact, and he'll go to the line for two. It's on Mitchell Robinson. This is his first trip to the line tonight. And the first one drops. He doesn't get the second one. And it's Curry with the ball, bringing it up for New York. In the second quarter, they've given up just three points. Kicks to Gobert. Back to Curry. Robinson passes to Hardaway. Here's Gobert. Hit one on the clock and finished off by Gobert. He knows his job. Gobert is there to own the glass and cash in on as many second chance opportunities as he can. Now, here's Rubio. No points in the game yet for him. But on that shot, with that, the Nick lead is cut down now to just seven on the bucket from Ingram. And defensively, they are on their heels every time the ball comes inside. Rubio against Curry. Great communication on the alley-oop. Yeah, nice, silky finish on the alley-oop from the stupendous feet. That sequence couldn't have been executed any better. Here's Rubio. A look at his stance. He averages a bit over eight points a game. Your catch against Ingram. From 11 feet away. And the rebound goes to the Knicks. Gobert's got six rebounds in the game. Hardaway kicks to Gobert. Here's Nurkic outside for Robinson. Pass to Hardaway beyond the arc. That one doesn't drop. And it's the Kings taking it the other way. Ingram against Nurkic. 
And he's fouled pretty hard on that shot, but he's got the chance to pick up the points at the line. And you look at the way Ingram can get off a shot. When he gets to his spots, there's just no stopping him. Very few players can create like he can. And he knocks down the first one. A creator indeed. And the name you always hear, Greg, with Ingram as a comparison, Kevin Durant. Yeah, and that's about as fair a comp as you'll find. Ingram is special with how he can rise up over defenders with that shot. Makes him a lethal weapon late in the game. The Kings making a switch here. Okongwu is checked in. The Knicks leading by seven. Now here is Hardaway. Five points in the game. Here's Curry with the three. Hits it from three-point range. Curry's got six points. And with the lead, I like the strategy here. Continue to get the ball to guys who can do something with it. This is when good players really get after it. He can sense that they're reeling, and he's going to put his foot on the pedal. Now, here's Rubio. Still getting warmed up offensively. No scoring yet from him. And hard to decide which is better, the pass, the catch, or the slam. Uh, there's no wrong answer. Sens <laughs> sensational alley -oop. Curry against Rubio. Curry is inside. Rejected by Ingram. And, and great use of length by Ingram. Able to reach out and get his hand on the ball for a block. And close to making the defense pay for the lax coverage that time. Now Ingram. After Tim Hardaway missed from long range. They are losing because he is struggling so bad. And he has not looked comfortable all game. Come to me, come to me. Outside Curry takes the three. Tips it. And there's Gobert putting it right back in. Gobert's got the lead up to 10 now for New York. Oh, and a nice job of turning that miss into two points on the tip end. Hustle points, I believe they call them. Hustle points right there. So a moment now to see the story for C.J. McCollum. The Kings have gone three of seven shooting the ball here in the second quarter. Manton, the pass to Gordon. He dishes it to Rubio. Launches it. The shot that time, not on target. The Knicks go the other way with it. To the inside. There's Gobert. Two free throws coming up, and they call the shooting foul. And from College of the Pros, Richard, you played for some legendary coaches. And speaking of coaching, is that something you've ever entertained doing? I never have, and I never will. Coaching, the amount of hours that you have to spend sounds exhausting. I love my job right now, and you know why I love my job? Because I get to work with you. Oh, listen, the feeling's mutual. An improved free throw shooter compared to his earlier seasons. Nice to see Gobert attack his weakness. off as well so he misses both as you go back and look at the last few seasons RJ it, it seems like team success has largely been predicated on health do you feel like that has always been the case I don't remember there being as many injuries early in my career even with guys that were playing all 82 games but you're right Recently, we've seen a lot of key injuries. And look, this is my theory. Before, players used to get away from the game a little bit, take a couple of months off. Now players are staying in shape 24-7. Like, they never take a break. And I think that's why we might be seeing players break down a little bit more. Yes or no answer? Too many games at 82 in the regular season should be less than don't you ever ask me that question. Give me 82. I'd rather you bump it to 83 just to remove all doubt. <laughs> Thank you. 
That free throw good from Hardaway. And here in the second quarter, he's starting to work himself to the free throw line. That's a good move. Donovan Mitchell's checked in for Sacramento. Thompson, he's checked in for New York. So one for two that time at the strike. The Kings trail by 11. And here's Mitchell from the arc. Thompson with the rebound. And he continues to cast away. But the results just haven't been there tonight. Robinson kicks to Thompson. Off target from outside. And he might have thrown himself off when he saw how much space he had from three. Rubio, the pass to Mitchell. Sacramento again missing. New York leading by 11. Has to go bare. Outside Robinson. Passes it to Thompson. A three ball. A shot, no good. Now Sacramento takes it the other way. And after that great first quarter from three-point range, he has finally come back to earth. Robinson with the block. Pause to rewind, courtesy of the AT&T 5G Slam Camp. And it's Curry with the ball, bringing it up for the New York Knicks. Gordon against Gobert. On the wing, Hardaway. He has six. He feeds it to Robinson. Curry outside. It's hauled in by Gordon. Gordon's got seven rebounds in the game. Uh, you know, some people could say he's struggling on offense this period. I like to think of more of drowning. Just can't seem to find his confidence. The shot by Mitchell, no good. Well, his shooting is unfortunately not a big thing. And his lackluster accuracy is probably the thing that's keeping them behind. Stolen by Rubio. The pass to Mitchell. He's looking for Gordon and finds him. Robinson with the block. And battling hard on the glass. They hold the advantage here so far. Curry against Rubio. Has to go bare. On the wing, Hardaway. Connects from three-point range. Hardaway has got the lead up to 12 now for the Knicks. And how about the recognition by Gobert? I mean, of course, it does help when you're seven feet like Rudy. It can give you a clean view of the court. Timeout called by the Kings. And as the coaches go to the clipboard to outline their strategy during the timeout, the players getting a chance to rehydrate with some Gatorade. That's key to staying fresh all the way to the final whistle. And, Kevin, it really is. And every one of these players knows it. They're all picking sure to stay hydrated. It's impossible to play your A game if you're not getting enough to drink, especially uh, towards the end of games when the physical toll of a long contest really starts to add up. Catching up on the changes for Sacramento. Williams, he's checked in for Okongwu. Trey Lyles comes in for Gordon. And it's Bruce Brown in for Ingram. Rubio looking it over. Pass to Mitchell. From deep. Rebounded by McGee. This is the definition of forcing it. He's trying to get himself going, but taking tough shots just won't do it. Here's McCullough. Shooting foul as the whistle blows. He'll shoot two free throws. First, 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 first. And crafty move by McCollum there, making sure he initiates the contact before letting the shot go. Two. And he makes the first. That 
one misses. And that free throw percentage has dropped to under 60 now, having a horrible time from the line in this quarter. Now, here's Rubio. He's been patient so far. Nothing on the scoreboard yet. And it's Mitchell missing. It's a plus five advantage for them in rebounding after that one. Mitchell against McCollum. Hardaway with it. He's got nine. The shot by Thompson, no good. And even though he hasn't been himself, it hasn't affected his team too much. They've still got the lead. CJ McCollum. First person foul. Third team. It's his first trip to the line. That one falls for Ricky Rubio. He hits one and misses one each at the line. New York leading by 12. To the paint. Williams with the block. Down against Lynn. Down kicks to Rubio. Miles passes to Brock. Again, the miss by the Kings. New York shooting just 29% in the second quarter. The offense is suffering. Williams against Hardaway. Pass to Lynn. over Rubio. Sacramento grabs the miss. Williams has got his fourth rebound with that last one here tonight. Two minutes remaining in the first half. Two. Mitchell against Hardaway. Miles sets a screen for Mitchell. Off the mark and a chance to trim it to single digits. And so it's McCollum. He'll bring it up for New York. And it's Hardaway top the key. There's 138 left now here in the second. Shot clock at six. And here's McCollum for three. And it's out of bounds for the Knicks as New York retains possession. Let's give some credit now to a group of terrific young defenders. The rookie leaders in blocks since the All-Star break. Thompson, a screen on Mitchell. Shot clock at four. There it is, his third basket. He's taken seven shots to get those three. Well, that, that's one way he can finish, but far from the only way he gets it done. He's got all kinds of tricks up his sleeve. Williams finds Mitchell. Over Hardaway. And the shot is long. No doubt the quarter just not going his way. Still scoreless. The pass to Len. Now here is Hardaway. No good on the three. Here's Rubio. And he banks in the lane. And they keep hammering away at him inside, forcing the ball into the paint. Pass to McGee. 35 seconds left in the second quarter. Pass to Thompson. Six on the shot clock. It's stolen by Brown. Thompson against Rubio. Passes to Mitchell. Looking to get it going. Oh, he misses the dunk. And you're just not going to see him do that 
very often. Usually when he rises up, there's a guarantee.